mighty kit. It's me, Sister Dina. It's so good to see you again. It's been a while, hasn't it? You've grown so much. Wow, look at you. All big and tall with muscles, with beautiful long hair. You guys look amazing. Is that the Barbosa Bunch? I see you, Julia and Hannah and Judah. Wait a minute. Who's that little guy over there? Is that a new brother? Oh my goodness, look at you. And the Barker girls, I see you. Allie and Charlie, so good to see you. And Julian and Jordan and Mateo, so good to see you kids. Hi, Naya. I see you, baby sister, Amada. It's so good to see you. And Linky boy, I see you, Linky boy, with baby brother, Elliot. Little Mac and his cousins, the Ortegas, Arabella, and Asher. Wow, everybody. So good to see you. Welcome, Mighty Kids. Today, I get to teach you uh, today's lesson. And today's lesson is all about forgiveness. Do you know what forgiveness is? Forgiveness is when someone says, Sorry, when they've done something wrong. We say, sorry. Has anybody ever said that to you? They hurt you, maybe accidentally. Maybe they pushed you or they said something mean. And then they say, I'm sorry. And what are you going to say? That's okay. I forgive you. And then you're glad again and you could be friends. Forgiveness is a good thing, and it feels so good inside here. It makes you feel better because when you don't forgive, you don't feel happy. You feel sad, and it doesn't feel good, and you feel mad, and you want to punch, but you can't do that. Forgiveness is a good thing. Jesus wants you to forgive. So instead of being mad, we forgive, and we be glad. That's a good thing, right? It's not easy all the time, but Jesus wants you to forgive. Well, here's my story. We're going to talk about a boy named Joseph. Now, Joseph was born into a family where there were 10, count my fingers, 10 brothers and sisters. And he was one of the younger ones, and he was a handsome boy. He was smart, just like you. He was so talented that his dad told him, you don't have to go work outside in the fields, planting and, and doing all the hard work, feeding the cows and the pigs and all that stuff. No, you don't have to do that. You're going to work inside the house and you are going to maybe work on, um, on math and other things you're going to study. So his dad chose him to do a special job because... His dad loved him that much. Guess what? His daddy loved him so much that he made him a beautiful, beautiful coat of many colors. Well, you know, like something like this, you know, something really pretty. Yeah, something shiny, something pretty. And that made his other brothers mad because they didn't get a shiny coat just Joseph. So his brothers got jelly. They got so jealous that they got bitter. And they went outside and they were sweating and feeding pigs. And they said, how come Joseph doesn't have to feed the pigs? How come Joseph doesn't have to be outside working in the hot sun? Why does Joseph get to do all the, the nice things? Wow. I'll tell you, they were so mad that they plotted to kill their little brother. That's a terrible thing. But in the end, they said, no, let's not be so hard. Let's just make him a slave. <laughs> so they sold him. They sold him as a slave to the Egyptians, never to be seen again. They said, good riddance, little brother. No more. We have nothing to do with you. So, now that they got rid of their brother, they thought, huh, well, what are we going to tell dad? Huh, dad's an old man. Oh, no. Well, we'll tell dad that J 
Joseph was eaten by the wolves and, and we'll get blood and we'll put it on his clothes and, and we'll take it to him and we'll say, see dad, look, he was killed by the wolves. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what they did. So they were really bad boys. They did not have Jesus in their heart. Mm -mm. So Jesus saw from heaven all the bad things that they were doing. And he says, mm, 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 this is not good. So he made a plan. Joseph was such a smart boy. He was such a strong boy. He was a good boy. He loved Jesus. That he became a helper to the king. Could you imagine? He became a helper to Potiphar the king. Even though so many bad things happened to Joseph, he kept forgiving and God kept blessing him and making him glad in his heart because that's what Jesus does when we forgive. So guess what? God saw all the naughty things that they were doing to their brother and he says, I got a good plan. While Joseph is serving the king, because see, when you serve the king, you eat good king food, like McDonald's Happy Meal, and you live in the palace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to have a nice soft bed. You don't have to sleep outside in the stables with the horses and the cows. No, you get to live in the king's house, in the palace. So Joseph was doing very well. But on the other hand, God made a big famine to come into the land where his brothers and his fathers were. What's a, wait, what's a famine? Let me tell you. A famine is, when, famine is when there is no water to feed the ground, to make plants grow so that you can have food. So no water, no plants, no food. That means no oranges, no apples, no lettuce, no tomatoes, no cows, no pig, nothing. Everything was dry. There was no food and the people were hungry. Joseph's brothers were very hungry. Have you ever been very hungry? I have, very hungry. Well, they were hungrier than hungry. They were, because there was a famine. So their daddy said, boys, you need to go over there. I hear there's food over there in Egypt. Please go beg the king for food. So Joseph's brothers went to Egypt and they went to the king and they bowed. Hail king, hail king. We came to beg for food. We have famine. My father's an old man and, and, and there's, there's 10 of us and we don't have no food. Please, would you be so kind? Would you give us some food? When Joseph saw, oh, wait a minute. Oh, he thought, oh my, those are my brothers. And the, the cool thing was, because Joseph was just a little boy when they sold him, he was now a grown man with big muscles. He was healthy and strong because he was eating from the king's plate, right? He was, he was well off. And he was dressed nicely and they didn't recognize that it was their brother Joseph. So Joseph said, where's your father? And the boy said, he's back at home hoping that we'll come home with food. He's very old and he's very hungry. Joseph was so glad inside of his heart, knowing that his dad was still alive. It's okay, I'm gonna send some food, he says, home with you, but you go back and you bring your father to me. Okay, sir. But Joseph had a plan. He got his soldiers to go get a golden cup and put it inside of one of the bags of one of the little brothers. And so he set them up. And so when they were on their way home, the soldiers went and they said, it's like the police coming and they drive behind and say, hey, they knock on your door and say, hey, what do you have? You, you stole something from the king. Oh no, we would never do that, said the brothers. Oh yes, you did. Look, here's the golden cup. Oh my gosh, how did that get there? So they took Benjamin, one of the beloved little brothers of uh, Joseph's father and they put him in prison and they said, and Joseph's soldier said, now you go home and you bring back your father. Please, sir, please don't send us home without our baby brother. 
He said, already once, my dad lost one of our little brothers and he has not been the same. He's he's just sick and he's weak and this will just absolutely kill him. Please don't make us go home without our little brother. Take us, but don't take our little brother. When Joseph saw that his brothers were sorry for what they did and they recognized that they had done wrong, he said, I would like to talk privately in my special chamber and I would like to uh, have a conversation. So they went off to the side, away from all the people, and privately, Joseph said, Sit down right here, I have something to tell you. And the men were shaking, they were scared, they thought they were gonna get, right? They were, they were scared. So then Joseph says, Boys, I have something to tell you. I'm Joseph, your brother. <gasps> oh no, how could this be? Joseph is dead. We sold him, we, we, it can't be. And Joseph said, I am that boy that you sold into slavery. I'm the one, but since you have shown that you're sorry and that you love your dad and that you care for him and that you're treating your little brother better, I choose to forgive you. The brothers were so thankful. Thank you, they said, thank you. Thank you for forgiving us. We're, we're so sorry for what we did to you. We never ever want that to ever happen again. We were so sorry. We, my dad has been so sad and, and, and we just didn't know how to, to, um, to make him glad again. And, and we're just so sorry. But Joseph said, go, bring your father. Bring him to me. Tell him his son Joseph lives. And off they went to get their dad. And one day they were all reunited with Joseph, the son that was sold as a slave. Now kids, that might be a hard story. Can you imagine family members, your brothers, or somebody being so jealous that they do something bad to you? Wouldn't that be hard to forgive? Well, that's what the Bible says that we must do. We must forgive even when bad things are done to us because that's what Jesus expects us to do. You see, sometimes bad things happen to us and Jesus wants us to forgive. And he says that if we forgive, if I forgive, other people that maybe they push me or they call me names or they don't like my dress or they say bad things about me. If they say sorry, I have to forgive them because sometimes I do bad things. Sometimes I say things that I shouldn't say and I need them to forgive me. You know why? Because if we don't forgive others, Jesus won't forgive us. And without forgiveness, we can't go to heaven. That's why it's so important that you forgive other people. Because we want to go to heaven and we want Jesus to forgive us. And we want other people to forgive us. Because when we are forgiven, we're so happy. It feels so good in our hearts. And we all want to feel happy, right? We all want to have good things. Just like Joseph, God blessed him because he was a good forgiver. I want to be a good forgiver. Let's pray. Let's ask God to help us to be a good forgiver. Father, thank you, Lord, for our lesson today about Joseph. So many bad things happened to him, and yet he forgave. Help me to forgive others when they do bad things to me, Lord. Help me so I can, so that when I do bad things, you will forgive me and others will forgive me and my heart will be glad. And one day we'll go to heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiveness. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's our story for today. I hope you learned something. Remember, it feels good to forgive. So forgive someone when they ask you and they say they're sorry so that others will forgive you too. Have a good day, mighty kids. Love you all. See you soon. <laughs>